So anyway, the allegation with Circa is that declassified memos show that the FBI illegally shared spy data on Americans with private parties. Which is, of course, against the law. So we'll talk about that next on News Talk 95.3, Michiana's news channel. KC Hendrickson, News Talk 95.3, Michiana's news channel. Your breaking news and weather station. Good afternoon. Thank you for tuning in. News Talk 95.3, Michiana's news channel. I'm your host, Casey Hendrickson. Producer Tim, screening your phone calls, taking your traffic updates. We've already got traffic problems out there. Tim, what's going on again? The, uh, there's an accident at intersection of State Road 13 and County Road 10 in Middlebury. State Road 13 is blocked. No through traffic, just south of County Road 10. We appreciate those updates. If you have any more, please let us know at 574 2595 That is 2595-953. You can also send a text message to 45364. Please put MNC at the beginning of that message. So we're talking about the the latest breaking information, if you will, about the FBI today. There is a declassified memo, or several of them, I should say, that shows that the FBI has been illegally sharing spy data on Americans with private parties. Now, this happened under former director James Comey. So Circa News' Sarah Carter has the full story with an explanation. Here she is. The FBI illegally shared data it collected with unauthorized third parties and federal contractors, according to a document recently declassified by the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court. Ten pages of the document from the FISA court show a history of violations in the FBI, like one case where foreign intelligence data on an American in the U.S. was disclosed to a forbidden party. Amy Jeffries, who the FISA court appointed to assess the FBI, wrote in the document the Bureau does not distinguish between U.S. and non-U.S. persons in its databases. That allowed the FBI to query data on an American for purposes of any criminal investigation or even an assessment. The Obama administration changed the minimization rules outlined in Section 702 of the FISA Act to aid the intelligence community's fight against terror threats like terror cells, lone wolf attacks, and cyber attacks. Jeffries concluded the FBI's minimization procedures do not provide sufficient safeguards to protect the privacy and civil liberties interests at stake. This comes despite public assurances made on May 3rd by former FBI Director James Comey that the data used by the Bureau was lawfully collected, carefully overseen and checked. Lawmakers on Capitol Hill say Fourth Amendment protections need to be assured. If this develops in the way it appears to be going, uh, it'll be bigger than anything else we've talked about quite a while. Lawmakers have told Circa they want the law to be revised. And behind closed doors, they're doing just that. For Circa in Washington, I'm Sarah Carter. So, I mean, this is a bit of a bombshell today. When it comes... Sorry. This is a bit of a bombshell today. When you look at the information here that the FBI, which, you know, again, James Comey now, again, perjured himself again before Congress. So when James, James Comey's now been caught lying to Congress on guaranteed two times, many would say three to five But it's completely undeniable at least twice. He lied about Uma Abedin, the number of emails that she sent to her husband. And he lied about this. Now, again, uh, there are some interesting tidbits of information out there that seem to contradict things that he said under oath to Congress on a couple of other occasions as well. But those two things are not able to be denied at all because we have FISA courts and and uh, the FBI have come forward with documented proof that what he said under oath was not true. So as people run around and they try to make their former public enemy number one, their savior, his character continues to unravel. You know, and, and for the longest time, it, you know, look how long it took us. to. Did you know that he investigated the Clintons five times over the years before the server thing even happened? Did you know that? Like, it took us all this time to figure out that James Comey had been repeatedly investigating the Clintons and it always found them to not do anything illegal. 
and he had some questionable things to say in in those investigations. I mean, this is just it's nuts. Weird ties to big Hillary supporters and things of that nature. This is the first time we're hearing about all of this, but it's all finally coming to light. When he was up for confirmation, it was like, everybody says James Comey is the guy, uh, no nonsense. And you know, I came out there and I said, boy, I hope so, because the FBI needs needs some direction right now. The FBI had been struggling for many, many years under bad leadership. And he comes in and has just made previous bad leadership look like it was, I mean, grade A. So Circa News reporting, because of declassified FISA court documents, the FBI has illegally shared raw intelligence about Americans with unauthorized third parties and violated their constitutional privacy protections. Now, again, these are because of the the documents that the FISA court has declassified now. Uh, in his final congressional testimony before he was fired by President Trump this month, then FBI Director James Comey unequivocally told lawmakers that his agency used sensitive espionage data gathered about Americans without a warrant only, only when it was lawfully collected, carefully overseen and checked. That is untrue. The FISA court has found out that that's untrue. Now, by the way, you know, a lot of people have been very critical of the FISA court over the past several years, and there has been some justifiable reasons for that. But in large part, we don't know a whole lot about what happens there. But as of late, the FISA court has just gone scorched earth against Comey and the FBI. Remember, for the longest time, we were told there was no FISA warrant against anybody in the Trump campaign. We ended up finding out that there was. We were told repeatedly by people at the, you know what, uh, forget that, that's three times Comey perjured himself because he said there's no FISA warrant. So he lied there too, I forgot about that. So he's, he's like Clapper. I mean, Clapper over the CIA kept lying to people too. We've caught him lying under oath a couple of times. Once top secret U.S. intelligence community memos reviewed by Circa tell a different, uh, uh, different story citing instances of, quote, disregard for the rules, inadequate training, and deficient oversight in even one case of deliberately sharing spy data with a forbidden party. That's what the FISA court found with the FBI. For instance, a ruling declassified this month by the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court, FISA, chronicles nearly 10 pages listing hundreds of violations of the FBI's privacy-protecting minimization rules that occurred on Comey's watch. 10 pages have hundreds of violations of the minimization rules. Now, the behavior that the FBI admitted to a FISA court judge last uh, last month ranged from, quote, illegally sharing raw intelligence with unauthorized third parties to accessing intercepted attorney-client privilege communications. You start messing with attorney-client privilege in the U.S. legal system, you're going to get in trouble. There was no proper oversight, and the Bureau promised that this oversight was in place years ago. And Comey testified earlier this month that they were not doing any of this. So again, you're left back to the old model from the Obama administration. You're left with one of two conclusions here. James Comey's a liar. This is the man who is a director of the FBI, and you would have to believe that he had no idea that any of this was happening for him to be innocent. So he's either a liar or he's the director of the FBI, and there's a bunch of shadow groups operating without his knowledge of what's going on. And if that's the case, he's totally incompetent. In either case further evidence in favor of Donald Trump firing him. The court also opined aloud that it fears the violations are more extensive than already disclosed. Quote, the court is nonetheless concerned about the FBI's apparent disregard of minimization rules and whether the FBI is engaging in similar disclosures of raw section 702 information that have not been reported. That's what the FISA court wrote in April of this year. The court isn't the only oversight body to disclose recent concerns that the FBI's voluntary system for policing its behavior and self-disclosing mistakes hasn't been working. The Justice Department Inspector General's office declassified a report in 2015 that reveals the internal watchdog had concerns as early as 2012 that the FBI was submitting deficient reports indicating 
that it had clean records complying with uh, spy data gathering on Americans without a warrant, which we have talked about on this show. That was one when we're in the midst of this. Why are you spying on Americans? It got to a point where there was a stretch of about six months where we were learning about so many spy programs in which Americans were being surveilled without their knowledge that we were starting to forget which ones were which. And in the midst of all of that, a lot of things happened with the FBI. One, we learned about Stingray and the very unusual behavior that the FBI has about Stingray and the unusual rules that they have about giving Stingray or selling Stingray to local law enforcement agencies and the way that they they do things. Memos were leaked to the public where the FBI was flat out telling people to not tell the truth about uh, the Stingray information. There's been court cases that have been thrown out because of information gathered by Stingray because the FBI would not disclose how it worked. Uh, Just all sorts of very strange things are happening with the FBI and Stingray. We also learned that you know, PRISM and some of these other programs that were put in place by the NSA and other intelligence agencies, as they were gathering this intelligence and they were telling us, remember, each department kind of had their own program. We were learning about all of this, again, because of these leaks that were coming out of the government. As we started learning about all of them, what would happen is the NSA would go, oh, we're only we're only surveilling these people and no Americans ever going to get swept up in it. Don't worry about that. They were finding out that NSA operators were using the technology to spy on their ex-girlfriends and things of that nature. But as we found out, when people were like, oh, okay, I'm not a part of that surveillance program. Oh, I can't be a target of that surveillance program. We ended up finding out that they were all pulling all of the information into one database and every agency could access that database. So if the CIA had a database, the FBI could access it, the NSA could access it, and vice versa for every single agency in the government. So there's a lot of really weird stuff happening. So when that report came out in 2015, they were sitting there saying, we think the FBI and other agencies are are not being forthcoming and not being honest when they say that they haven't violated any of these protections that we have put in place. And as things happened in the government and the administration of Obama and Congress started trying to rein in on this, um, it just, in, all it did was not really increase any of the protections that American people had. All it was was uh, doing was pushing pushing these intelligence agencies and the information that they had a little bit more into the dark room where they were hiding it from everyone. So the FISA court watchdog suggests FBI compliance problems began months after Section 702 was actually implemented. And the FBI's very first compliance report in 2009 declared that it had not found any instances in which agents access NSA intercepts supposedly gathered overseas about an American who, in fact, was on U.S. soil. And now we found out that the FBI will not even distinguish between an American and a non-American and that they have been illegally accessing and illegally distributing this information at least hundreds of times. And the FISA court believes it's a lot worse than that. And this all happened under James Comey.